Hello, this is Joe and welcome back to the channel. In tonight's video, we're gonna be capturing the Jellyfish Nebula. So I'm not normally out here at night. I usually have my observatory set up to work automatically and I could remote into it from my house. If, for those of you who don't know, uh, I live in the Rocky Mountains and I'm going, it's pretty dark here. And so I'm, I am gonna go out to the observatory tonight to start this video. It's really cold tonight and uh, it's really dark. So I normally don't shoot at night because I don't have any lenses that are fast enough to get any good video. And so I'm hoping this one comes out and uh, let's go, let's go check it out. So the moon's out a little bit tonight. Um, I need to see where I'm going here so I don't fall down the deck stairs. Okay. The moon's um, pretty bright tonight. It's about a 80% moon and it's high in the sky. It should be going down later. So I'm gonna be doing some narrow band imaging. And I thought, oh, what a great target, the Jellyfish Nebula. It's been a couple years since I took that last and I had my, um, it's a ZWO 1600 and some of the big stars did not come out very well. So what I'm gonna do is use the 294 and my Z81 and see if I can get uh, a nicer image. And I'm gonna go for a little bit longer exposure time too with that camera. With the 1600, I was getting, uh, I, I was raising the gain up to about 200 and I was taking five minute exposures. And um, with this 294, I can use unity gain and about 10 minute exposures and I'm hoping to get a lot more detail out of this target tonight. Okay, so here we are. Uh, this is what I'm normally used to doing uh, when I do come out at night, which isn't often, like I said. Um, we have a lot of coyotes and wild animals out here too. So uh, it's not very often that I do come out here. I need to open up the observatory. I hope. I just wanted to do something a little bit different in the video uh, instead of the same old stuff, you know? And I thought, wow, this would be pretty cool. Let's check out what it looks like at night in here. Uh, put that back on there for now. And let's see if I can get this camera in here without shaking you guys up too much. I might have to edit this part out. Oh, it's cold tonight. All right, so we're in the observatory. Uh, it's, it's pretty dark. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. I'm gonna do most manual tonight. Well, except for the guiding, of course this roof open and uh, let a little bit of moonlight in here unfortunately the moonlight but oh it is pretty cold i'm gonna see if i can move this camera around so you can see the telescope i have it in the park position at the moment um, it doesn't actually hit the roof of the observatory but i do keep it in this park position so i could leave the lid off and i don't get a lot of dust accumulating on the lens and plus uh, when i do put the hd8 on here uh, with the dew shield it does hit the observatory but just the dew shield and then sometimes i uh, knock it off so i've changed my um, park position to the scope like this and then in the home position it'll come up and point pretty much towards polaris so uh, I'm gonna get started here. I gotta take out my my microphone so that I don't uh, I don't trip over it. So I'm not sure how good you're gonna be able to see me. Uh, hopefully this comes out. If not, I guess you get to listen to me get my my equipment ready. Um, just gotta log into my computer here. Well, that's logging in. Uh, I can tell you a little bit about about our target tonight. It's so the Jellyfish Nebula is actually a supernova remnant, and uh, it's in the constellation Gemini, 
you know, I, was, uh, I believe, I want to say about 5,000 light years uh, away from us. And um, they really don't know when the star that produced it went supernova. I've seen things um, as early as like 10,000 years and as late as 30,000 years ago. So I'm going to go ahead and take the telescope and move it to the home position. And then we'll get started. I actually have a... I have something set up going uh, on this computer, so it's going to take me a minute, but I'll cut that out of the video. All right, so we're in the park position. Uh, there's the scope. I've got this little handheld light, again, because I, I just don't have a fast enough lens to be shooting at night. But I'm an astro channel and I never shoot at night. So I thought, oh, okay. I mean, I take images at night, but I never shoot videos at night. So I thought it'd be a welcome change. Um, so I've got everything actually already set up. All I need to do now is to reset the stuff from last night. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit play. And we should start to slew to the position. Uh, the Jellyfish Nebula doesn't come out until about 8 o'clock tonight. And it's only about 6.30. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rattle off a few shots of something else. Um, I was looking at doing some Lobster Claw. I've been doing that um, because it's overhead as soon as it gets dark. So I thought um, I'd be doing that. It's also a narrow band image target. And so when the moon's out and stuff, it doesn't bother me. And I've been doing that for a while now because some of these, um, a lot of my targets have been lately in the Orion constellation. And that doesn't come out until 8.30, 9 o'clock here currently, or has been. Uh, it's been getting earlier and earlier, so uh, now it's a little bit better. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit play. It's going to slew over to the Lobster Claw Nebula, and, pro and I'm going to rattle off a few shots of uh, Hydrogen Alpha on that because the... The moon's a little bit too bright to be getting any uh, good oxygen. And then when it's doing that, uh, when it's done, I'll move it over to the Jollyfish Nebula. I've got it all set up already here. So I'm going to go ahead and hit play on that. And I should get, uh, should get the telescope slewing over there. As soon as it starts its sequence. There we go. See that might be too grainy of a video to put up. Um, if I did put this up and you're seeing it, then I apologize for the grain right now. Uh, it's just the equipment that I have at the moment, but I still thought it'd be interesting. So there we go. I'm going to have to uh, change my light over now. So I really don't, uh, I don't want to mess up the autofocus and the plate solving too much. Um, that's, yeah, that's, hey, oh, you hear that? Coyotes are out. Oh, that sounds like there's a lot of them. Damn. Hold on. I, I gotta close this up. I think there's a whole pack of coyotes coming through here right now. Oh, and I was just getting ready to go back in the house. What was that? There's something right outside the observatory, right there. I can hear him just on that side of the wall. Man, that, that does not sound good. That doesn't sound good at all. Damn, I want to go back in the house. <laughs> what is that? Oh, guys, oh, you won't see this video. I won't be able to post it because I'll be dead. No, okay, okay. I think it's going away. Yeah, I, I can hear it going away. Oh, and I didn't bring my phone. Oh, man. No, I, yeah, I hear it walking away. What is that? 
to see if I can see what that is, guys. One second. I'm going to look through this window back here. Whew. It's just a badger. Yeah, and they got sharp claws and everything, but I, I think I'm fine. Yeah, the badger ain't going to want to mess with me. Man, that had me worried because you hear the coyotes howling and, and, uh, and something was right next to me. So, yeah, he's scurrying off over there. I should be good to go, guys. All right. If I see you again, it'll be tomorrow. Hey, thanks everyone for hanging out with me last night. I had a lot of fun. I know the video was grainy and I do apologize for that. I am working on getting something, some gear that'll you know make the videos a little bit better. Uh, I had a lot of fun. It was, uh, it was a little scary at times, but you know, I'm alive today to tell the tale, so it's all good. Uh, I'm gonna shoot for one more night tonight and then I'm gonna go ahead and process the image you know, the way it is and hopefully you'll like it. Hopefully I'll like it. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see it here at the end of this video. And if you like this kind of content, please consider hitting that like button and we'll see you in the next video.